Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north, more specifically, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm in front of Bicycle Heaven. This is a bicycle museum. Now, that may not sound like the most exciting thing in the world, but I have it on good authority. This is more than your average bicycle museum. Not quite sure what that means, but we're about to find out. Follow me. Please stop and wipe the shoes of salt sand and dirt. Okay, we will do that. Stepping into bicycle heaven. Hey, hello. Hey. How you doing? Good. Uh, just like any bike. Yeah, just really look at the, uh, this. Aerodynamic and stuff. And stuff. It's a well, skeleton like man. Say, wow, these are just like that. pedals in here. <laughs> little accessories, little pieces of bike. Ah, wow, look at this clock. It's decorated with little knickknacks. And these are pickle jars, decorated pickle jars. Oh yeah, what's this? Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man on a bike wheel. He's got himself in venom hanging from webs. What's this? A blonde trap? I. I don't get it. Look at those bicycle seats right there. See, this isn't all just about bicycles. We got fossilized ferns, petrified wood, and a uh, babysitter. What's this say? Is the baby in the cage being punished? Is it cruel or, left for another suggestion, is the baby being protected from a world of drugs, evil, drive by shootings, and terrorism? Well, that is a real head scratcher. I like this. If I, if I ever got a bike, I'd definitely want some sort of animal skull on the front. Oh, there's the hornet's nest up there. This is from the this is from the monkeys. Oh wow! That's the original bike. So the monkeys they rode in the beginning of the monkeys. The monkeys rode this bike. That is insane. Yep. Oh, look at this. This uh, it's called the Huffy Wheel. For some reason, it has a steering wheel like a car. This is a parade bike right here, but what makes it really interesting is it has these extra shocks inside the tire. Alright, this mannequin's instructing us that we are going to the right way to the floor two of the museum. Alright, taking the stairway to heaven up here. Whoa, what just happened? Oh my goodness. It's terrifying skull. It says, by law, I have to post that all rooms have security video. If found stealing, you'll have to deal with God, but you will have to deal with me first. Yeah, the music and lights is an interesting touch. Got all those bike tires. This place is, is a lot of bikes. Got a lot of bikes. Head in here. Oh my goodness. This is incredibly massive. Yeah, where are we? Where do we even go from here? There's so much to look at. So many bicycles. This is a beetle bike. It's got a yellow submarine on it. There's Elvis. It's an Oreo flavored bike. Up there is one of Lance Armstrong's giant novelty checks. Guess these are some local sports teams. We got a big Marlin up there. So, bro, extra cycle. I need to get myself an extra cycle and get into shape. Some old timey bicycles up there. Here, some sort of car. I don't know if this is like a bicycle car combo. Attractive young lady there by the telephone booth. I think that's like a soapbox derby car. Right there. And here is the real life Pee Wee Herman bike prop. This says this is a one of four that still exists. So they used 14 in the filming. But uh, one of four still in existence. Well, I wonder where the other three are. One's called Purple Rain. So cool, like all the different shapes these bikes come in.
This is the groovy, cranky, panky sprocket room. And what? Oh! What? What is happening? There's things. There's things going on. What? What? Did you just hit the music? I guess. I don't know. Ah. There's a hobby horse found inside the Pittsburgh Masonic Hall. So a Masonic hobby horse. Uh-oh, see some uh, spooky creatures gazing at us from inside that office. This is the bike tree. These two bicycles are absolutely embedded in this tree. It says this is the only time, only occurrence of two separate bicycles being stuck in the same tree. Wow, that is... You can see kind of how it's grown in there. And then this one's grown in there really tight. It's amazing. Really. Oh wow, these bicycles were used in the movie Super 8. That was almost like the predecessor to uh, Stranger Things. We got a Wienermobile up there. There's a little uh, display on Kennywood Park. It says that is a brass ring from the carousel. It's over 100 years old. What do you guys think about a sidecar and a bicycle? See Winnie the Pooh riding, riding in the little sidecar. What is this? Right here. I don't even know what part of the bike this is. I'm walking down a tunnel to see myself in the mirror. Ah! What the heck? So wait a minute, this is the pinball machine from the Happy Days TV show. They said that this is the uh, the pinball machine that the Fonz played. Well, heck yeah, let's play the pinball machine the Fonz played. Oh, there's our ball. There's our ball. Oh! Darn it. Alright, here we go again. The ball comes. Uh oh. Ah! Doh. Some interesting sculptures back there. It's a Darth Vader bicycle wheel, one with different Star Wars characters. And that perfect tomato started in our greenhouse. We're buying plants. We hand bought veggies and herbs that are near Oh, these bikes here are so cool. This is their bathroom, the bicycle bathroom. And uh, yeah, the bathroom is full of antique. Yeah, they have a penny farthing bike right there. And yeah, there's bicycles hanging all over the bathroom. That's where you would uh, use your toilet. What does that say? Having a hard time going to the bathroom? Please call Dr. Crappy, Cra Dr. Crappy McPoop, the bum plumber. I'm legally going to change my name to Dr. Crappy McPoop. Yeah, there's a unicycle just hanging outside the bathroom stalls. This is attention to detail that you don't usually see in bathrooms. It's not often you get to share an intimate experience like this with a unicycle. So, wow, that was bicycle heaven. I honestly. You know, the thought of a bike museum in and of itself you know, excite me, but I can't really think of a way to make a better, more interesting, more immersive bicycle museum than that. Totally amazing. Appreciate you guys watching. If you like the other uh, places I've been, please check the interactive map down in the description. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon. A donation of $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.